I don't know why, man. Just give off the best tone to vibe out. And it just seems so peaceful. This angle right here. And how all the lights is off, except for the big one right behind me. Yeah, bro. Peaceful known. I haven't recorded nothing all day. Had a headache all day. I'm about to drink some tea. Just been relaxing all day. Think about life is, bro. That's gonna be a fucking roller coaster. If you younger than me, older than me, you know this. This is why I say younger because once you get to a certain age range, you start realizing shit in your life. It's not really what it seems. It's all fun when you kids, you outside, playing with your friends, playing with your siblings. You're not thinking nothing of it, bro. Then when you get older, you start seeing everything, man. And I tell y'all the real, bro. That's what makes you, bro. Don't take that for granted. Don't feel like it's your fault and this and that. That's what makes you, bro. Because when people go through some shit, bro, that grooms them to be a grinder, bro. They either gonna have it or you don't, man. Grinding is like a, it's like one of a million type of skill. You either gonna have it or you don't, bro. Ain't no in between. Ain't no this time. Ain't no... I have it this day and not this day. Grinding is a skill, bro. You either have it or you don't, man. And when I say it's a skill, it's because the person continues to be consistent no matter what they're going through or what's in their path. That's a skill to me, bro. Cause like an artist. Artist could draw when he mad, sad, happy, joyful, whatever, however you wanna say. So y'all telling me grinding not a skill, bro? Grind is a skill, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit that groom you, bro, that's gonna make you you. You know what I'm saying? Stop trying to be like everybody else. I had a conversation last night. Not putting no names out there, but I had a conversation last night that was very truthful. But they said it in a way that I'll explain much different. Like, man, these celebrities y'all look up to, we all look up to is normal, bro. They normal people. So when they see us, you can't expect them to have the same reaction as you because they don't want doing the work so much. Like, they're not realizing how much of a fluence they is, you know what I'm saying? And that sometimes be shocking them, bro. And that's all I gotta say about the celebrity shit. The main focus is, this is sugar replacement. I'm about to, y'all see how small this honey is. For, him, for me to get the honey taste, I'm gonna use the whole damn bottle. I know how I get. I get. I go crazy. But yeah, yeah, that shit tastes kind of bland, bro. Do what you want, bro. Who's telling you not to do what you want? And that's the thing about people, man. They won't push you as hard as yourself. But the reason why I'm pushing you, bro, because you ain't never going to regret it. You ain't never going to regret this shit, fam. Like, it's going to be the best thing you ever do in your life. Like, type shit. Like, it's a better feeling than, like, a birthday on a birthday when you get gifts. You know what I'm saying? Or if you ain't never got gifts for your birthday, it's a time and a place where somebody got, got you something big. Like a pair of Jordans. It's your first pair when you older. You got a pair of Jordans. It's that feeling, bro. It's just the it's just the feeling how that leather feel, especially when you buckled up on your feet, bro. It's that type of feeling. Like I'm that nigga. Can't nobody stop me. I'ma keep going. It's that feeling. And that feeling is worse than drugs, bro. That's what I'm trying to tell you, but it's hard to attain, bro, because people can't get in that mojo to get in that mode, bro. That mode is rare. And you sit here and look at motherfuckers like. Snoop Dogg, Shaq. Y'all wonder why these niggas is hustling so hard, bro? It's because when they realize you strong and you just now got your life on track, everything is going on you, bro. It's just because, bro, against all odds, 
you're still standing on 10 toes and standing on business and doing what you got to do at the end of the day. So people like that, bro, these successful people you see, I don't think these niggas' life is stress-free, bro, because the more money you got, the more problems you got. That means the more family members you got to take care of. Niggas going to be asking you for cars. Niggas going to ask you to get them a house. Like, oh, outrageous shit. People always want money. It's always that one uncle that always wants some money at the cookout. It's all type of shit, bro. And y'all thinking this life is stress-free. Yeah, I'm like, why people do this for all these people to ask for money? Because they're not doing it for them, bro. They doing it for the benefit of a... Uh, Doing what they're supposed to do. And you, bro, I tell people this all the time. You don't truly do what the fuck you want to do. So go ahead and do it, bro. Well, I keep worrying about, oh, my friends going to laugh at me if they see me do my first YouTube video. Man, nobody give a fuck, nigga. Do it. Why you still sitting here looking at me, nigga? Go start up your channel. Go grind, bro. Go hustle. Go hustle till you can't no more, bro. Nigga. And what I call this, you hustle till you in the grave, bro. No matter what's going on in your life, bro, ain't nothing that bad for you to say, well, I couldn't do this because this situation in my life was holding me back. Nigga, you holding yourself back, bro. That's a fact. Nigga, in the worst times, you post a grind, bro, because that means you got reinsurance and you and you not forgetting what it took to get here, bro. You got to grind through your toughest times, bro. God forbid I seen people's folks pass away and they still, they still hustling, bro. You can't just stop everything you got going on because something happened, bro. That shit tough, bro. And I know how I feel to lose the close one. But you got to keep hustling, bro. End of the day, all you got is yourself, for real. Nobody truly got your back but yourself. Until you understand that, bro, you're going to be stuck in the same place forever, bro. It's like you letting that coach. I, I, I spoke of this a long time ago. You letting that coach in your head. Determine everything you do. Sometimes you got to go against that nigga, bro. Sometimes that nigga don't know what the fuck he talking about. It's how, that's, how, that's how it is in the NBA, the, the NFL, the soccer leagues, all that. That's how it is everywhere. Sometimes that coach don't know what the fuck he talking about. And you got to go against him and go ahead and score that 100-point game. The 100-day streak. 75 days, 40 games, 40, 40 points a game, 7 touchdowns a game. 15 goals a game. Home runs. 10 home runs a game. Sometimes you got to go against that nigga, bro. Like what, what, like, what do a human being look like? Let somebody hold them back for their true potential, bro. You can do anything in this world, bro. Anything. Why you let somebody hold you back? That's the stupidest shit I ever heard in my life, bro. You don't let nobody hold you back, bro. I'm, I'm really pissed because you niggas up here making excuses why y'all not grinding, bro. It's nobody fault but yourself. Until you take accountability, you ain't never going to grow as a person. I don't care how big you get as a YouTuber, streamer, whatever you do, nigga. NBA player. I don't care what you do. If Until you get accountability, you just going to be the same motherfucker. And that's a fact, bro. And I put that on everybody I love, nigga. Until you start growing accountability for yourself... And stop blaming everybody for your problems. And what you're going through, you're going to be in the same spot, the same couch, that same bedroom you're in right now for the rest of your life. Guaranteed. Who you living with? Your uncle, your mom, or you living by yourself, though, at a minimum wage job? You're going to be there for the rest of your life by yourself, bro. That's the real, bro. Yep, that's the real. You wonder when I'm in this clip? I'm not ending this clip. You need to take this hit on the chin, nigga, because you need to get the fuck up and start grinding. What the fuck you waiting for? I started off with nothing. I still don't got no fancy camera. I still ain't got no fancy setup. But you see me do what? Upload every day. What you see me do? You see me upload every day. Because deep down inside, bro, you can make as many excuses as you want. But the real excuse is no excuse. I don't know how that makes sense, but it does. The real excuse is no excuse, fam. That's the real, bro. By the time you see this clip, 
85% of people clicked off, right? It's because they know it's the truth. Dislike the video, right? Because they know it's the truth. Somebody took the time out of the day to comment on my page? It's because it's the truth. Take the time to like the video and act like you're doing with what I'm saying? It's because it's the truth, bro. People ignore people that ain't got no talent. But what I, what I say about that? If you're not funny, nobody cares about you. If you're not entertaining, nobody's watching you shit straight up. I live by the cruel truth, bro. I don't live how other people live. I'm not saying you exactly because you might live how I live. I know regular people that's brutally fucking honest. But when it comes to their situation, they act like they don't know that they act like they brain dead. They act like they stupid. You feel me? So, so look. The truth is the truth. I only live by one truth. If I did something wrong, I'm admitting it. I take accountability because I know I'm going to grow from this shit. If I did some fuck shit to one of the homies and they called me out on it, I'm taking accountability. Even if we got to squabble, even if we got to talk, even if I got to give up money, even whatever the situation is, take accountability, settle that situation how it is as a man, and grow. Stop leading on shit. What is you leading on shit for? It's no point in trying to lie about it. You caught, you caught, bro. Like a cheater. A cheater gonna cheat. No matter who it with, he could be with the, the bitch he, he the bitch he wanted so bad. He see another bitch he wants so bad, he's cheating, bro. Straight up. A cheater gonna cheat. And how my my role opinion is a predator is a predator. And if I know you got a history of that, you're not coming around my nephews, you're not coming around my kids. Or any anybody's kids I love and care about, you not coming around though, bro. Cause I don't trust you. Like it's a situation a long time ago, some shit happened like that. Somebody I grew up with praying praying down on people that's that's defenseless. And what I do? Cut! I'm not fucking with that shit, bro. Nigga, I got a little sister, I got little cousins, nigga. I got nephews now. I can't fuck with you, nigga. The fuck wrong with people out here, bro? This world is sick. And you sick, nigga, if you just living in it and accepting everything that comes to you, nigga, instead of being the force in the algorithm, being the force of life. You sick too, nigga. You sick for just settling down and accepting life what it is, nigga, instead of making a chance, making a chance and a, ch a chance and a change for yourself, bro. That's that's what's sick to me, bro. I find a lot of you niggas sick. And I'm not saying sick like you make me sick and I don't want to be around you. I'm saying sick because, bro, you don't realize your own poisoning. And I'm not talking about no alcohol. I ain't talking about no drugs. I ain't talking about no weed. I'm talking about for yourself, your brain. What is you doing at midnight? You watching pornos, young brother? Young sister, you watching drama about celebrities? Girls Night Club? Fight Club? That's the shit you consuming? And you, and you convince yourself you're okay every day, right? You convince yourself you're going to get through what you're getting through. But you manifest, you're not even knowing. Whatever you put in your mind, you manifesting that, bro. So if you sit around all day, you sit on your ass all day, all around, complaining all day, what's going to happen, bro? Somebody will come around telling you, complaining about you sitting on your ass all day. That's what's going exactly going to happen. If you sit around getting money all day, not having time for the bullshit, the drama. What you doing? You manifesting that so people gonna come around you with the same activity. So, hey, bro, I got a bad move for you. Do, 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 bro. Yeah, bro, I feel your energy. You got good energy, bro. And I know you begin to, bro. I see you, man. You looking nice. You take care of yourself. You go to the gym. Do, 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 do. Whatever you do, and behind closed doors, you're manifesting it. So if you get drama coming your way, boom, 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 you're manifesting it. I don't care what you're talking about. You ain't got to manifest it talking about somebody. You can manifest it by watching it, bro. That's what it is. And if you got good vibes all day, when you by yourself, you chilling. You got good vibes. You sitting back chilling. Worry about you, not worry about nobody else. Having fun, watching TV, whatever. What's going to come around you? Good vibes. Good opportunities. People are like, hey, bro, I'm about to have a party. Do, do, do. You want to come through? Kick it. Everybody going to be chilling. Do, do. You are what you manifest, bro. 
If you lazy, you sitting in your ass all day. Come home from work, cook a big ass plate of food, watching Netflix all day long. What are you manifesting? Lazy shit. And who's going to be around you? A whole bunch of lazy motherfuckers. That's, you are who you manifest, bro. I'm a huge believer in that. A huge believer in that. What I manifest all day? I manifest in working, bro. Grinding. YouTube. Gym. And showing y'all my day-to-day -day life. That's what I manifest all day. So when I get around me, motherfuckers clouding me. Bro, how you doing it? Little do these niggas know this is not overnight, bro. It's not. Even though I didn't hit no huge milestones yet, I'm going to, nigga, because I'm manifesting this shit. I said I'm going to hit a thousand this year. I don't know when, but I'm going to hit that shit. I said I got a feeling. I was talking to my brother. I said I got a feeling I'm going to hit that shit soon, bro. What's happening? I'm manifesting it. Day by day, I'm seeing my subscriber count go up. Going up. People realizing, like, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. This nigga. Who is this nigga? They, 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 they realizing, like, who is this brother? Like, who is this dude? He doing something kind of different. Who is he? Like, he doing normal shit, but he, he's somehow entertaining to us. Who is this brother? They hitting that subscribe button, fam. Niggas coming back to my channel day by day. Because what? I am grinding and manifesting the best of the best because I am the fucking best because I believe I'm the best. This all this shit comes down to the T of who wants it or who don't. Because somebody could come right now and take my spot, but I'm not letting nobody take my fucking spot. Nigga, I'm taking your spot. In everything you work for. Nigga, I need that. Straight up. Because believe it or not, I'm the hungriest man in the room. Everybody can sit about talking about when they get all this equipment. Da, 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 da. Nigga, I'm already doing that shit. I don't care about none of you talking about. Talking about where the camera quality on your video is not that good. I don't give a fuck what you think. I'm hungry, nigga. And I need that straight up. Because little do niggas know. I'm just, I'm a, nigga, I'm a role player that only in for the shit to help my family and help y'all to give y'all what information I got that I know, nigga. That's all I'm in this shit for. If, I'm a, if I can help somebody one time a day, one person a day, I'm doing my job, bro. Then it, the money comes with that shit. So I'm, a nigga could be able to feed his family? Nigga, who don't want that? Are you crazy? They get on here to tell people... To stop doing what they doing to change their life for the better for they self, fam. Start reading books. Start eating healthier. Start going to the gym. Start doing anything for a dollar that's not illegal. Nigga, I'm pushing that all day long. What are you saying? And you telling me, and you and and somebody like, hey, what what is your purpose, bro? My purpose is to be the best at what I do. And this is what I do. I'm the best at what I do. And I'm not going to get, I'm not, it's not competing against nobody. I'm already the best in my head, young nigga. I'm just showing you I'm the best. So I'm going to keep bringing you these videos to show you that I'm the best. And that's all it is to it. I don't give a, I don't, bro, I don't care about what nobody got going on. If you're not mine, bro, I'm not being cruel. I don't care about nothing you got going on. Or if you don't rock with me, I don't care about nothing you got going on. What, why am I, why am I in your business for it? Why? What am I getting from being in your business? Drama? Views? Beef? Not me, son. Not me. Come to the wrong YouTube channel for that shit. I'm not doing that, bro. And if somebody tried to, I let them know that. If they still try to do it, I know, I know what they're doing. They're clout chasing. I'm a young nigga when they come up. They're clout chasing. I'm not doing that, bro. I'm cool, fam. Like, I know how this real beef shit go. This is just internet beef to me. Somebody trying to come at me. I already know how that shit is. Internet beef. I have real beef, fam. I know when somebody really want to beef or they just want attention. I know the difference. You niggas don't. If you not from where I'm from, you don't. I'm just telling you the real. I'm not saying I'm better than you. You just don't, my nigga. <laughs> For real. I have real beef. I'm talking about real like niggas want to kill you. <laughs> yeah. But do I come on here and promote that sauna? Persona? No, I do not. Because I'm not letting that traumatize my identity, bro, as a man. Because as a man, they don't give a fuck what you're going through. All the bitches want to know what you got in your pocket. What you do for a living. 
Okay, how you feeding your family? That's all they want to know. They don't give a fuck about what hood you from. They don't care if you a blood or a crib. They don't care about none of that shit, bro. Until y'all understand that, y'all don't realize y'all in that little kid phase. Oh, yeah, crib, did it, did it, blood, did it. You, you in the little kid stage, fam. You a kid. If you not really that, why you going around claiming that, bro? You acting like you 14 again, my nigga. Grow the fuck up. Got some balls, nigga. Fill out a job application. D figure out something to feed your family. Because that shit you doing, you just going to be what? Dead? Or in jail? Or just going to be a broke-ass homie? That's all you going to be. A bum. That's the third one, a bum. You either going to be a bum? What, what NBA young boy say? You're going to be a... He said, I'm either going to be a bum? Successful? Or in jail? Or dead? And that shit is real in the life he lived. In the life I used to live. That shit is real. You That's either them four, bro. You either going to be successful, you either going to be a bum, you either going to die, or you either going to be in jail. Only four options, nigga. Got on where I go. Oh.